Salvete, welcome to this video lesson on uh, Lingua Latina per se illustrata, Capitulum Sextum, Chapter 6. And we're looking at um, Section 2 of the story. So we just mentioned that Matus is an enemy of Dawas. Ursus, however, is a friend of Dawas. And we're picking up at line 46 here. Matus a best, a domino suo. Matus is away from his master. Esne in opodo Tusculo, is he in the town Tusculum? Medus Tusculi non est. Medus is not at Tusculum. Okay, Tusculi looks like a genitive. It is a new case called the locative. It's a special case. And essentially, by saying Tusculi, as we see in the margin, that equals the same thing as saying in Tusculo or in opodo Tusculo. This is like saying in the town of Tusculum or in Tusculum, at Tusculum. It tells place where, in other words. So, Matus is not at Tusculum. Neque Romae est Matus, nor is Matus at Rome. And notice again, Romae looks like it could be that genitive, possessive case. But we translate it in this context as at Rome. Said in via Latina inter Romam et Tusculum but on the Latin way in between Rome and Tusculum. Unde venit medus, where is medus coming from? Tusculo venit, he is coming from Tusculum. So notice unde means from where, so then you answer it with the ablative case of the town that he's coming from. That's why Tusculum here has the long O on it. He's coming Tusculo from Tusculum. Neque is ad vilam julii it, nor does he go to the villa of Julius, nor is he going, you know, to his house, right? Quo it matus, where is matus going to? Romam it, he's going to Rome. Tusculum post eum est, Tusculum is behind him. Ante eum est Roma, in front of him is Rome. Matus via Latina, Tusculo Romam umbulat. Matus is walking on the Via Latina, or we could also say by the Via Latina. We could call it the Latin way if we wish. From Tusculum to Rome. Now notice in this sentence we have Via Latina ablative by the Latin way, on the Latin way. We have Tusculo ablative. Here that would mean from Tusculum. And then we have Romam accusative to Rome. So the cases in Latin tell us how we want to translate those words. We are Latina in the ablative. So ablative is like by, with, from, in, on, at. Those are common prepositions for ablative. So I would say on the Latin way, by the Latin way. And then Tusculo again is an ablative ending. This time it's a masculine or neuter word, in this case neuter. So as the O ending. So again, by, with, from, in, on, at are ablatives. So here we say from Tusculum to fit the context. And then again, Romam has the accusative ending. Two main things about accusative. We, of course, know about direct objects in the accusative. The other main thing that accusatives do is show direction towards. So direct, direction towards, direct object. Um, you want to think about the accusative kind of like a target that you're shooting at. So Romam here is where they're going to. Thus the om ending. So one more time, the ablative ending on via tells us by or on the road. The ablative ending on Tusculo tells us from Tusculum. And the om accusative ending on Romum tells us to or towards Rome. All right. Etiam Cornelius, also Cornelius, amicus Julii, a friend of Julius, in via Latina est, inter Romam et Tusculum, is on the via Latina, inter, in between, sorry, Rome and Tusculum. Unde venit Cornelius? Where is Cornelius coming from? So there's that new question word again, unde, from where? Is non Tusculo, said Roma venit. He is not coming from Tusculum, but from Rome. Quo it, where is he going to? Cornelius non Romam said Tusculum it. Cornelius is not going to Rome, but to Tusculum. So, quo is that other new question word, where to? 
And I want to point out here, when we're answering unde and quo questions, you have to be careful about the case that you use. Unde, you're going to answer with the ablative, thus Tusculo and Roma, which are ablative, not from Tusculum, but from Rome. And then when you're answering quo, you've got to have the direction towards, which is accusative. So it says, non Romam said Tusculum, not to Rome, but to Tusculum. All right, continuing in line 55, Roma post eum, ante eum, Tusculum es. Rome is behind him, in front of him is Tusculum. Cornelius in equo est. Now here we see in the margin, Cornelius is on a horse. Equus qui Cornelium vehit pulcere est. The horse which is carrying or transporting Cornelius is beautiful. Julius et Cornelius ad villa suas eunt. Julius and Cornelius go to their villas. Now, eunt is the plural of it, which we had earlier. It is goes, and then eunt is they go, plural. So these two guys, Julius and Cornelius, go to their villas. Villa ubi Julius habitat, the villa where Julius lives, prope Tusculum est, is near Tusculum. Ubi habitat Cornelius, where is Cornelius living? Is Tusculi habitat, he lives at Tusculum. Yam Julius prope Willam suam est, now Julius is near his villa, servi qui lecticam portant, fessisunt. The slaves who are carrying the litter are tired. Dominus autem, fessus non est, nam is non ambulat. The master, however, is not tired. Fessus here is a new word. Fessus, uh, faragatus, de fessus, de faragatus. Four different Latin words that all mean tired or weary. So the master, however, is not tired. Nam is non ambulat, for he is not walking. Julius ab urso et davo portator. Julius is carried by ursus and davos. Portator has a new verb ending that we haven't seen. The T-U-R ending is a passive ending. So that's why we say Julius is carried. Not that he carries them, but he is carried by them. We'll talk more about passives in the grammar lesson for this chapter. But for right now, essentially, it just means this happens to the subject. So Julius is carried ab urso et davo by ursus and davos. Itaque, and so, is fessus non est, he is not tired. Fessisunt sirus et leander, sirus and leander are tired. Nam ii, for they, duos magnos sacos umeris portant, are carrying two big sacks on their shoulders, or with their shoulders. So the sacos is accusative plural, so that's the direct object, the, what they're carrying, the two big sacks. And umeris is the ablative plural. And again, ablative, we want to translate by, with, from, in, on, at. So here I would say, on their shoulders, with their shoulders. Neque vacui sunt saci, nor are the sacks empty. Saci qui asuro et leandro portantur magne sunt. The sacks which are carried, portanter is again one of these passive verbs. Notice the N-T-U-R ending. Sacks which are carried by Cirrus and Leander are big, magni sunt. Sed sacus quim Cirrus portat, but the sack which Cirrus is carrying, non tam nagnus est quam sacus quia Leandro portator. It's not so big as the sack which is carried by Leander. Here's another one of those passive verbs, portator. Itaque, and so, Cyrus non tam fessus est quam Leander. Cyrus is not as tired as Leander. Cornelius non est fessus, Cornelius is not tired. Nam is equo vehitur, for he is carried by a horse or on a horse. So vehitur, from that verb, we had the active form vehit earlier, carries or transports, and here we have the passive, is carried, is transported on his horse, equo. 
Julius Lactica Vehitor. Julius is carried or transported in his litter, Lactica. Servi ambulant, the slaves walk. Domini Vehunter, the masters are carried, are transported. Medus ambulant, Medus is walking. Non is servus es, neque ecum habet. For he is a slave, nor does he have a horse. All right, so we're going to stop there at line 71 for the, uh, this is the complete sort of the first half of this section. And we'll finish up section two in the next um, lesson. Walete omnes.